A lot of people don't know how to actually mod on Gorilla Tag. I have made videos before over how to get mods, but it's usually only one specific mod. And I just want this video to mainly focus on all mods in general and how to download them. The first thing that you need is obviously a computer, VR, and Steam. You have to play through Steam. You cannot play standalone because Oculus banned it. But if you have all those requirements, Go to your browser and look up Monkey Mod Manager, or go to the Discord link in the description, and then scroll all the way down on the channels and click Best Mods to Use, and then it should look like this. Scroll up and click Monkey Mod Manager, click Continue to Download, and then save Monkey Mod Manager to whatever file you want, just something that you're familiar with. After you did that, double click on Monkey Mod Manager, and if it doesn't show this folder path up here and it says you need to find Gorilla Tag's folder path, open up Steam. After you open up Steam, go to your library and right click Gorilla Tag. Go to Manage, go to Browse Local Files. You want to Control A and then Control C. It should have like a folder like this. Just double click this, Control A, Control V, and then click Enter, and then it'll pop up this. And then down here it should say like OK or something. And then after that, this should pop up. Now, Monkey Mod Manager is just like a manager for all the mods that are like verified and they're good to use and they're not overpowered. But you can get mods like that in Discord servers and stuff. They're most likely being paid for like five to thirty dollars, sometimes sixty, which is overpriced. But some people do sell it for that much. And sometimes in my Discord server, I'd be posting them. Not all the time though. If they're like too OP, I would I won't post them. But I do post a lot of mod menus that are very basic or just fun to use. But you want to go through here, download whatever you want. And then on this bottom part, don't get Banana Hook. So many people have problems with it. I just wouldn't recommend downloading it at all. So I want you to select all these bottom, the bottom ones except Banana Hook. And then click install slash update. Now if anything starts to happen where your mods aren't working anymore or something like that just come through monkey mod manager and check all the mods that that you have downloaded previously or if there's new mods that you want to download go ahead click them again and now if they're already up to the latest date and you click install slash update it's fine nothing will happen but after you downloaded that you can open up gorilla tag and everything should be there if you have mod menus that you want to use that you found from discords or wherever Go back to your Steam, right click Gorilla Tag, Manage, Browse Local Files. Now this folder should pop up. Also, an easier way to do that, I know a lot of people like to use this way better. Go to Utilities on Monkey Mod Manager, then click Game Folder. Now this pops up your game folder, and it's, it's easier that way, but I like doing it through the Steam. But once you have this folder open, click BEPLNEX folder, then click your plugins. Now some mods like Unity Explorer, you have to have two folders in two different directories. But for most mods, like just a simple DLL file, you just put it in your plugins folder. But yeah, Unity Explorer has two different files that you need to put two different directories. The only one I know that you need to do that is Unity Explorer. I don't really know any other ones that needed to do that. So it's not that important, but just in your plugins folder, put your mod menus and your other mods that you like. And with mod menus, if it uses the same button, I would recommend only putting one menu in there because it bugs out. But yeah, that's basically it. The only thing I wanted to add is a monkey mod manager. Uh, just go ahead and download all of these unless you don't want them or you don't see any point of downloading them. And then you just click install and update. That's it. Do not give an hook. Trust me, you're not going to like it. If you have any questions about mods or have any concerns, comment it down, but I'll check through the comments. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to be notified for other Gorilla Tag modding videos or just when I go live. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I don't think there's anything else that I need to add to modding. Go check out these videos. You might like them. You never know. All right, bye.